Okay guys, this is my 61 inch Husky toolbox. I recently bought this online and had it delivered. The total width is 63 inches because of the handle. Uh, it has a bottle opener, which is pretty sweet. It has gas struts. When you open the lid, So I like the box altogether. Definitely fits my needs for home use. I'm not a mechanic at all. I do my own work. Uh, so we'll just get a little bit of a toolbox tour because I know guys like to see this and women probably, uh, mostly guys. So you got a little Budweiser Stein. Up here I keep some nut runners basically. These things are cool, I got these on Amazon. You put them on your Zerks and you fold them over and close them and it keep, keeps your Zerks from uh, getting dirt contamination in it and it won't clog them up. And some mower parts because I work on mowers a lot. Got my hard hat from when I was in high school for any carpentry work. Snap-on booklet, small engine repair booklet. Got my laptop for looking up parts and stuff online. I have my um, oh grinder here, and I have my drill, impact driver, squirrel tail I got last year, one of my magnets, a light, another magnet, and then this box on the floor um, goes with four outlets and two USB ports, charger phone, whatever you need to. So top drawer here, turn around here. My screwdriver drawer ranges from, uh, not sure what these brand are, but my sister got them for Christmas one year. Uh, they're insulated and I got Craftsman, Cobalt, Klein, uh, an SK from my grandpa. And more just little various ones. This one is my pliers drawer. So you got your fat maxes, your cobalt. Got these performance tool from O'Reilly's. Got this from O'Reilly's, uh, wire stripper. More cobalt. Got my um, channel lock end snips. My dikes that were from my grandpa as well. Cobalt, vice grips, more cobalt. These long needle nose from Harbor Freight are trash. They bend and they don't grab anything. There's some old pliers that came from my grandfather. These are my, my specialty drawers. So I got my Pittman arm puller from Harbor Freight that I've used once. This is just extra change. And I got my brake uh, caliper uh, tool. Uh, valve spring compressor for small engines. I got a brake drum tool. I got my oil filter wrench. I got a panel popper from Craftsman. I got a Craftsman um, gas scraper, which this thing is awesome. Um, radiator hose, um, flush kit, feeler gauge. Got my air conditioning, just I kept this when I when it was all gone. Another oil filter wrench, tire repair kit, oil filter wrench. And then a coolant tester. And this side this is my electrical drawer. So I've got like my soldering iron, my test light, my Bosch uh, multimeter. I got my Bosch OBD reader that my parents got me for Christmas several years ago and it works fantastic. Uh, I got these cool little connectors. You just put them in there, push them in. You don't know twisting anything. That's more of like home use, I guess. Uh, electrical tape, got my snap on, um, butane torch, and here's just a whole bunch of connectors, insulators, um, shrink, heat shrink, so that's why that's in there as well. And here's just kind of miscellaneous stuff some Harbor Freight cotter pins, some uh, washer assortments, you know, shit from O'Reilly's some box knives. This, I have this little syringe here, just in case I need to get any little fluid out of an area that's trapped or something to say. 
anti-seize, some super lube. I got this because I do a lot of um, oil changes on my car, my wife's car, family's cars, friends' cars. So I was gonna get, um, I was gonna get some of these off of Amazon. There's little stickers, right? Uh, your mileage or the month that you need another oil change. Well, they wanted ten dollars for a hundred of them. Or I went to Riley's. I seen these that were free. I asked them how much they were for a roll of them. They said they're ten dollars for a thousand. So obviously, I got a thousand for ten bucks. And then got some uh, wire wheels that were for one of my um, die grinders, but it burned up. It was trash. It was cheap harbor freight. Get what you pay for. And this is. Not specially, but just punches, chisels, picks. I got these picks here, which are channel locks. And these are the best picks that I have found. I have Craftsman picks. I have this tool here, which is a Tecumseh tool specifically for small engines, uh, carburetors for Tecumsehs. Uh, I got a light. I got my... Um, Oh, um, torch tip cleaners, but I use those to clean out holes and carburetors. Um, some, uh, paint scrapers. And here I keep some assortments of valves for tires. Got my valve stand remover tool. Some other lights. I got a Honda light because I work at Honda. So this is especially one for the anniversary. Uh, air pressure gauge, another air pressure gauge, and then got this Titan from O'Reilly's, which is just a little mirror. Keep that in there. And then coming on to the big drawer, which is what I like the most because it's a uh, full 59 inches. The box is 63 with the handle. Without the handle, it's 61 inches. So you got an inch on each side to play with. So obviously, you can't go to each end. So it's 59 inches. That's where I keep all my sockets and ratchets, extensions. So I mostly have Craftsman set, which is what my parents got me when I was like 16 or whatever. But I do have a lot of my half inch chromes are Harbor Freight because I don't want to spend the big money. I don't really need half inch all that much. If I use half inch, it's for my 60 gallon air compressor. So I'm going to use a big half inch impact. So, back here in the bag, I have a half inch breaker bar from Harbor Freight that works just fine for what I need to use it for. I do have SK, which is from my grandfather. Uh, he passed those down to me. I have a servicing belt removal tool from uh, Harbor Freight. Use it once. That's why I'm not going to go expensive on a tool like that because I use it once. I'm probably never going to use it again. I got big extensions from Harbor Freight. They work fantastic, especially this one for transmission. My buddy used it to get uh, transmission bolts out of a Mustang, and he said it worked amazing. Uh, got some swivel sockets, uh, six point, or no, 12 point swivel sockets. Got those out of Riley's because they look sweet. Never used them once. Uh, another SK half inch drive extension. Another SK uh, three eighths drive. And I have some Torx, some extra quarter inch that I don't ever use because they're no names. Uh, more Torx here. And these my wife gave me, which are the Craftsman Spline Drive, which these were great. So I'm just trying to put these back here real quick. And then I got my 36 millimeter actual nut that I have for my Silverado. I have a, what size is this one? A 34 and I believe a 32. And then all these are either Craftsman or they're Harbor Freight. Uh, I have one gear wrench, which is uh, a 15 millimeter, which this thing is awesome. I came about updating all my impacts to the gear wrench. So I got 3 a drive all the way up to half inch. Got a Craftsman one here. 
that I had to get because I needed it. No, I'm sorry, this is performance tool, I'm sorry. I had this because I needed it for a control arm. And then I did have another, I had, yeah, right here. I have a Craftsman Impact, which this thing is amazing. I had to use that for control arm as well. I don't even think that's the size where it goes. I just put it there because it needed a spot. Back here, I have my three quarter inch breaker bar from Craftsman. Never used it. I have hex picks. Uh, I got these specifically for uh, caliper pins. To get those out when doing brake jobs. You got your swivels, of course. You always need those. I got a uh, Torx for caliper pins. I got a very small Torx, which I use this while uh, doing my throttle body on my Silverado uh, to take it apart to clean it. And then I have another uh, Allen for caliper pins. And then I got just my cheap torque wrench from Harbor Freight. They do the job just fine. I don't need anything expensive. Uh, oil filter wrenches, well sockets, I'm sorry. This is one for um, just a cheap hyper tough. I just need something quick from Walmart. Uh, that is, use that on a Chevy Malibu with 2011. Cause it's the cartridge style, it's not the actual filter. So it's in the engine bay. Uh, my favorite wrench that I mean, ratchet that I've always used is my Snap-on F80. This thing is amazing. That's my go-to. Got a Tecton 3.8. Uh, a Craftsman 3.8 that my wife got me. My Harbor Freight uh, quarter inch, which is the only quarter inch I use because it's fine tooth. And this is so much better than my Craftsman, which I have a Craftsman 3.8 drive and a Craftsman quarter inch drive, but those are in my vehicle as my to-go kit. I have a 3 8 inch breaker bar from Harbor Freight, works just fine. And this is a old Bonnie. Uh, I don't even know if any of you even heard of it. It's an old Bonnie made in the USA. This was my grandfather's half inch drive and just listen to this. Super fine tooth. I don't even know the tooth count on it, but I'm assuming it's pretty high that's the anybody know any information on this and would like to put their input in that would be greatly appreciated because i know nothing about this but i use this all the time so that's pretty much my socket drawer extensions breaker bars um it's just yeah you know and then the next door down are some of my wrenches. I have stubby wrenches from Extreme Torque, which I've never used these watches. I used it once, which was to get a starter bolt out and you had to go from the top of the engine bay in order to get it out. And you didn't have enough room for a regular size wrench. So you had to use a stubby. That's the only time I use a stubby. Works great. A uh, couple crow's foot that came with the um, Serpentine belt removal tool. I uh, got all my Craftsman that my parents got me when I was like 16, like I said. I got this uh, one and one sixteenth in an inch, and I use that for um, my um, transfer case on my Silverado when I used to have it because the transfer case sensor for the four wheel drive went out and the thing was freaking huge on it so i had to use uh an inch and a 16th in order to take it off so yeah and then these are old wrenches from my grandfather as well i don't even know who made these um black hawk if anybody knows anything about black hawk black hawk armstrong i have never heard of them made in the usa though so that one and this one is a dunlap if anybody knows anything about that let me know and this is my gear wrench set here, uh, the ratcheting wrenches. Uh, these are the ones I basically go to. I use these all the time. They're fantastic. And like I said, these drawers, they're all basically the same size except for these two down here. Uh, and of course, your big one, your 59-inch drawer. 
but it works fantastic for what I need it to. Uh, I believe they're 18 inches deep, which like I said, for me, it works out fine. Over here, I have my gear wrench line wrenches, which are fantastic. I got this a deal. It was buy one, get one. They're, they work fine. Some smaller Craftsman wrenches and then my spline dryer wrenches that my wife got me as a kit. You use those all the time too, especially for oil changes. Begin off the uh, bolts. Next door down. This kind of tool that I don't really use a whole lot, except for my map gas. I use that all the time. For my map gas, my regular propane, I got my butane, and I have my grease gun. Over here, my air tools. I have a Sanborn half inch impact. I have, I don't even know where I got this. This might've been a Harbor Freight uh, deal. I'm not sure, but it's a Sherbonder um, staple gun. Works great. Cobalt 3 8 impact. I need to return it or they probably won't return it because they probably won't accept it. But I need to get a new one because it doesn't really work that well. But when it does work, it works great. My air gun, my the tire inflator and then my air tool oil and this chuck that i bought because i thought it was cool and it really doesn't work that well for me because it's kind of big so i don't use that and like i said these drawers they look pretty thin but i mean you're talking i got a half inch impact in here and it, it does not rub at all it doesn't rub at all which i was surprised that was the one thing that i was worried about the boxes i did not want to put my impacts clear out the bottom. I wanted them where I wanted them. And it works phenomenal. So in here is just electrical stuff. Uh, speaker wire for amps. Regular wire. Speaker wire. Amp wire. Speaker wire. Radio wire. All that stuff. I got some. Um, I don't know what the heck you even call these. Um, your... Um, the breakers, yeah, that's what they're called. I'm sorry, I just got off work. It's late, so yeah, that's just that drawer over here. I just have you know my hacksaw, regular saw, hatchet. Now here, this is my small engine uh, drawer. I work on a lot of mowers, weed eaters, stuff like that. Like I said, so I just got some extra filters, used ones in case I need them for whatever reason. Uh, carburetor, some are new, some are old. Carburetor bowl for off of Tecumseh. Uh, new and old bar plugs that are so good. I got, <laughs> these are actually, uh, came off of a mower. They're the uh, push rods. I got this one off of a uh, Husqvarna uh, weed eater. This is a uh, carburetor off of it. Just got some of my small engine oil, a brand new filter I got. Uh, some extra parts, you know, your rocker arms, stuff like that. Uh, extra gaskets. I have more stuff in my toolbox over there. That's my air compressor. Um, that toolbox has more small engine stuff in it. The Craftsman right there. Um, the top of that, you're probably wondering where the top is. The top is in my vehicle. because I did have the red one in there, but it would kept toppling over. So I use the black one because it's uh, wider. So now it has more surface area. So it does not uh, tip over. And that just has a bunch of junk in it right now. I need to go through and put some other stuff in it. So back to this, I uh, got a um, valve cover gasket off of a uh, Briggs and Stratton. Next drawer over, uh, demolition drawer, I guess you could call it. You know, just got a big old flashlight, a uh, mallet, a cat's claw that I used in carpentry class in high school. And this thing is amazing. I would highly recommend one if you need to get nails out it works awesome. I do have a cobalt hammer. Not even sure where that's at. And I also have a four pound sledge. Not even sure where that's at. Um, bolt cutters. And down here, I got my rigid pipe wrenches. Uh, funny story about these two is my parents actually moved into a new house after I graduated high school. And I went into the crawl space to make sure everything was okay in the crawl space and these were sitting in the crawl space so not sure why they were down there it could have been a horror film i don't know 
but I took them because my dad didn't want them. So I gladly took them and I have used them because um, I had, I was changing the tie rods on my Silverado and the tie rods were basically rusted together, the outers and the inners. So I put it in my vise. I put some PB blaster on the threads to get the outer tie rod off. I sprayed it with PB blaster, heated it up with my map gas until it was hot. And I took my pipe wrench and it came right off. So only time I use those, but it worked great. I did use this for my um, caliper on brakes. I did brake jobs to depress the caliper back in, the caliper piston back in, but I don't use that method anymore. Um, I use that or that, depending on what type of brakes the car has. And then just a wire brush, a chalk line, a Milwaukee um, tape, my Fat Max tape that I used in high school, which I still use this. It goes out 11 foot without breaking and it's awesome. Speed square and then you got your uh, chalk. And then last two drawers. Uh, just some cases that I have. Uh, my rubber freight cases for my torque wrenches. And here I have a soldering iron from my grandfather. Uh, next down, this one has uh, propane in it from my grandfather as well. And this one has a bunch of soldering, uh, like flux, wire, stuff like that in it. I do a lot of soldering when I do. Um, I do a lot of soldering when I do a lot of electrical work. So that's that drawer. And the last drawer down here is just all extension cords. I have a light. I have my Craftsman light right here. And this is completely full of extension cords. That's another work light that I use. So that's that. So I hope you guys enjoy. This was my first YouTube video, I guess, of a toolbox tour. It's on my phone. Maybe I can call the old lady out and have her hold the damn thing next time so it's not so floppy floppy all around but i mean it's what you get it's 2 30 in the morning yeah so i hope you guys enjoy it and like i said if you are looking for a good box oh got the stein in the way there we go you're looking for a good box this is definitely the one to get me for my setup like i said i'm not a mechanic i do all the work myself and it works out perfect so thanks for watching.